You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. You've called us back. We love our repeat customers. Um, and then you're going to pull them up in the system, confirm their email or their um, address, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then... Then you're going to say, okay, well, Mrs. Jones, you said at the beginning that um, you had an issue with your water heater. Why don't you tell me what's going on, right? And now she gets to tell her story. And I want to stress here, it's about her story and about the story, mm -hmm. not about what size the water heater is. Okay, I want to get with, with <laughs> it's that. It's gas or electric, Okay, so upstairs, for our plumber downstairs. owners and, and the plumbers in the field, it don't matter. <laughs> okay, all, you know, it don't matter. Mm -hmm. All right, it just says there's... Customer says there's a plumbing problem in the house. That's all you need at the very end. Right. And this so, is so to walk them through all the stuff, what size, right. how, you know, mm -hmm. where is it at, and that kind of stuff, now mm -hmm. is really going to scare them. Because right. that'll even make them uncomfortable because they may not know exactly that, that and information. And then they feel dumb. And they feel dumb, right? Mm -hmm. And they start thinking, boy, this is going to be a big deal. This is complicated. Right. Well, I'm just, I'm calling around mm -hmm. and just seeing, you know. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and Bob's saying one of the problems um, is once the customer gets used to talking to the owner, that is all they want to talk to you're right Bob well, let's talk about that because that, that's a thing right you have to retrain your customers because normally when the plumber right. owners this is a side note here this one's for free and I'm gonna charge you <laughs> <laughs> when the plumber owners have been the one that answers the phone for so long and customers do get used to being able to get the plumber owner um, because they can work you but yeah right and right. they they feel like you know they've right. made it to the top they're they're gonna get the best deal get taken care of the best right. um, you have to retrain the customers um, so if a lot of your customers have um, your personal cell number you have to change the greeting on your cell to say um, you know hi this is I'll use Bob hi this is Bob um, with city plumbing right city plumbing um, and um, if you have a, a plumbing issue please call the office at blah 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 you give the phone number um and that's it and let them call in okay don't answer the phone if it's a customer like only answer the phone if it's someone you absolutely know a friend a family or something but nothing to do with plumbing you have to retrain the customer if you keep answering the phone and yourself what? because really and, and yourself we have a lot of time with the guys just feel like compelled i got i got to answer the phone mm. i got i got to take care of this this is a customer all oh, this is um, oh, this you know, is Miss Jones. We've been doing work for her for ten I, I years. It's and... I, I, only mm -hmm. I can take care of her. No, mm -hmm. that's okay. You're, Not true. You're, you're sticking yourself. Okay? Right. And right. again, you're, you're training the customers how to behave. And so what they'll do, they'll call the office based on the number you gave them, um, and they'll call the office and say, "Yeah, I need to talk to Bob, and he does all my all my plumbing. And I need to talk to to him." And the person, the CSR, needs to say, "Sure, I can help you with that. Have we done work for you before?" Right, and then you go into, and if they really push to talk to the plumbing business owner, you, you have to not allow them to do it. You have to tell them, oh, he's got me now. You know, I'm I'm in the office. I I book the calls. I take care of the schedule. Right. Um, I can get you taken care of. But under no circumstances are they allowed to talk to the plumbing business owner anymore. Right. So. That was okay. a side note. Yeah, Bob's no longer in the field. Well, I really, he does all my work. Well, you know, Bob's no longer in the field. Mm -hmm. um, he man, he manages the guys now, okay? And even if you are still in the field mm -hmm. and you have another guy, for sure you're gonna mark that, that, that job, Bob's not going to that yeah, don't job. don't say Bob. Okay, right. we're not, Bob's not going. <laughs> right. Okay? Yep, so right. there you go, Bob. That's how that's said. Customers always...